That's right, 25-year-old Marissa Perez was so excited to become a new mom. Now here in Burbank, we did speak with her family earlier today and then they say she had so many plans for the new year. More recently, she was about to find out the sex of her child, but unfortunately never got the chance. She was super excited. She seemed like a whole new person and I just, I've never seen my sister glow like that. It's a day Isaac Tolentino and his family anticipated that will never come. The day his sister would give birth to her first child in the new year. But 25 year old Marissa Perez's life was cut short last Thursday while on her way to her aunt's birthday party in Artesia. Marissa had called her aunt about 20 minutes before. I'm like, hi baby. She's like, she's like, so um, they're gonna have a barbecue for you, right? I'm like, yeah, she was okay. I'm gonna be there like no later than seven. And I said, OK, a short time later, another phone call. But this time it's Marissa's boyfriend, Andrew. Her boyfriend calls me and tells me. Did, did Marissa make it there yet? I'm like, no. And then he hangs up on me. Marissa's family learned she had been shot at this intersection in Artesia while in the car with her dad on their way to the party. That's where a memorial grows for her and her unborn child. The shooting happened just after seven o'clock. A driver passing through captured video of the scene that night. Marissa's dad rushed her to a nearby hospital after she was hit several times, including one shot to the head, but she didn't make it. We knew that she had passed because her mom had fell to the floor. And started screaming. Investigators are now working several leads to help catch her killer. Investigators believe that this was not um, a random act of violence that this vehicle that the victim was in was actually targeted. The family now remembering her through pictures saying she was so excited to have her baby. Now they just want justice. She was shot and killed. And she was just an innocent person that didn't deserve to be brutally murdered like that. Her or her baby. Or her baby or her child. I just feel like you know, she was taken from us and, you know, the only thing right that, that they deserve is to be behind bars for the rest of their life. And investigators with the L.A. County Sheriff's Department are not providing information about the suspect or the suspect vehicle at this time because they say that could compromise their investigation. But in the meantime, they are still asking anyone with information to contact their homicide detectives. Reporting live in Burbank, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.